What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and right here in front of us today, I got a bunch of brand new devices from Apple. Now, with that being said, iPad Pro 13, or the M4, the iPad Mini 7th generation over here, and over here is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And today, we are going to be jumping into the beta of iOS 18.2. Now, iPad OS 18.2 on these and iOS 18 on the 16 Pro Max over here. But it's not going to be a deep dive into it. I just want to show you a few of the features that just came out for the beta and some things that are probably going to make your life a lot easier. This update is probably one of the best updates that Apple has put out. But it's still got its little quirks. So let's talk about it. All right, so first and foremost, you know that these devices are some of the newest in the lineup for Apple. Now, what we're gonna do is, since this is gonna work on all the devices that we got right here, I am going to sit the phone and the mini to the side at this point and we're going to focus on the ipad pro 13 or the ipad m4 now with that being said what i'm going to do is i'm going to raise my desk up so you can get a closer look at what we are going to be going through the ipad is the ipad is probably one of my favorite devices that is out to date but Let's go into iPad OS 18.2. Now you guys will not have full access to this until the whole thing has been finished. Right now, like I said, we do have access to it uh, via the beta version, Apple Intelligence with Siri. We go in and we change all these things. And one of the newest things that we have is going to be chat GPT. So with the newest iPad OS 18.2 and iOS 18.2, you do get access to Blum, 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 chat GPT. Now, anytime you are using these other devices and these may go off <laughs> as they hear me talk, but we're gonna be talking to this one in particular. One of the things that I like is that it now adds a feature in your notes application to where if you have, let's say, a rough draft or something, um, Boom, there we go. So I was playing around with it and I actually made this story up and it's talking about Ninja Cats. So we got this story about Ninja Cats and uh, it, it chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. It goes out, it lays this story out. I'll show you how we made it, but first off I wanna show you how this actually works. Since we have this story here, you now come up and hit the Apple Intelligence app. Now it's gonna give you different writing tools over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You can proofread it, you can rewrite it, you can make it more friendly, more professional, or more concise, and you can actually compose different things. What we wanna do is we wanna get the summary. Uh, let's get the keynotes from this article. So we'll ask it for the key points, and what it will do is it will read through it, and then it gives us our key points right here. Now, this is all coming through ChatGPT, so just keep that in mind. If you wanna share it, you can share it. If you wanna copy it, you can copy it, and you can replace whatever you need to replace. Very smart, very intelligent. Now, let's say we want to make it more professional. It will actually go back through the whole device, and it will make this thing more professional, and it will rewrite it. And then there it is. It is redone, it's still working on it. But there we go, it is finished. Now, the cool thing about this is if you wanna add pictures and things like that, you can now come in and do this. Now, I will say upfront, this is beta, so sometimes it is a little mm, finicky, but we're gonna click down here and we are now gonna go back into Apple Intelligence. We're gonna go to Compose. And now, we're gonna talk to, uh, we're actually gonna have to type in chat GPT. So, we want a picture of a ninja cat, or we'll spell it the correct way, cat. And we will hit search. And typically it will find us an image of what we're looking for. All right, so it's getting the image ready. And boom. So now it has given us an image 
of a ninja cat to go along with our story about ninja kittens. Um, now, it actually erased the story, <laughs> the story, but this is what you can do inside of uh, the Notes app now. We'll hold this picture down, we can copy it, share it, and we can even create different things from it. So when you come in here, and if you want to just, let's say, compose a, a, a paper. Let's see, we're going to write a paper on global warming. Now, I don't suggest you do this <laughs> because, you know, your instructors and things like that may be able to figure out where this came from. Uh, this is a good tool to use. Um, and you can, it actually gives you suggestions via chat GPT. So this is going to be a game changer for as far as chat GPT goes, because it's going to allow millions more people to have access to it, which it will start learning and get better and better and better. So that is how chat GPT is going to work inside of your notes application. Uh, you can go in and you can uh, proofread this. You can rewrite it. You can make it more professional. You can make it more friendly. However you want to do it, the 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 it's in your <laughs> the ball is in your court. You can do whatever you need to do with it. Now, let's go out and talk about Siri because the biggest thing about this uh, Apple AI is that it hasn't been working 100% out of the box. Like you won't get all the features until January so of 2025. So let's open it back up and let us talk to Siri. Hey Siri, who leads in tackles in the NFL? All right, so pulls up, gives you information. Old Siri can do that, but new Siri goes a bit further. So, hey Siri, can you write me a story? Okay, so Siri wrote me a story right here. Now, if I wanna take advantage of what we got right here, I can actually copy this and put it into a Word document or into my notes. Um, we can also do something that I really like. Hey Siri, tell me a dad joke. And for right now, it's not talking for some reason. So let's see if we can make it talk back to us because it is not talking. And it was talking earlier. And remember, I told you that this is beta. So sometimes things may get a little off at times. So now I'm gonna reach over and grab this device since it wants to be so smart. Hey Siri, can you tell me a dad joke? Tell me a dad joke. How do you make a dad joke? It's easy. The real question is, how do you make him stop? Okay, so we proved that it can talk back to you. Like I said, this is all some beta stuff right now. So there are other features that are not yet available yet, such as the um, magic wand inside of notes that is not ready yet. Uh, when we get updates on that, we'll, we'll talk more about it. Gemoji is not available yet, but I think the biggest takeaway from this is Apple is using Google in their search to do, do these things and partner with ChatGPT because you have to enable ChatGPT on all these devices in order to get the best out of everything. Now you don't have to log in if you don't want to, but if you do log into chat GPT on your devices, it will give you like a history of your searches and things like that. So the good about this is it's going to make chat GPT a million times better. A lot of people using it, getting a lot of information in, it's going to learn, it's going to get a lot smarter. And one last thing that I did forget is that the new eyesight or the new camera function where you can actually hold down your camera control and then you can actually just take a picture of an item and it'll tell you exactly what it is. Like there is, like right on my table, there is a little Black Panther action figure. So all I'll do is I'll just take a quick pic of it and then I can search it on the web and it uses Google to search and it pulls up that action figure. Also, if I want to take a picture of it, and then maybe just have it give me a brief description of what this device is and it will work 
with like plants and animals and things like that as well. And it does get frozen from time to time, just like a beta wheel. But once again, we'll try to open it back up. I'll take another picture of it and I can ask it something. Yeah. So it's not working right now, but you get the gist of what this will be able to do. It can translate things. You can ask questions about the item that you're um, taking a picture of and it'll show you where you can pick up that item. It will describe the item. It'll be like super smart. It's going into Google's uh, storehouse of knowledge and it's using all those things. So a lot of different things that we got. We're still in beta, as you can see, but um, and it's stuck like 100%. But you'll see, uh, iOS 18 and iPad OS 18.2, both of these are point two. As you can see, it's a lot of different things that we're gonna be able to do when this has been fully completed. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out and until next time, Average Tech Guy out, peace.